Uh, our staff in Winnipeg made these, and actually they just sent them here this morning by FedEx. A chocolate chip cookie that may be better for you. A cookie fortified with vegetable rather than animal protein. One of the many products they're working on in a lab in Winnipeg to put more protein in all the foods and beverages we consume. We see opportunities to put these proteins, uh, these novel plant-based proteins, into some fabulous uh, potential applications. One of them that I'm excited about is actually into ice cream. So what we're talking about is not actually adding it to existing ice cream, but essentially making a non-dairy ice cream that has soy protein in it. Today, and it tastes like ice cream. And tastes good. That's the key. Burkhan, a Vancouver-based company, has spent the last 13 years and $50 million developing soy, pea, and other vegetable proteins. It's wealthy Hong Kong investors believing that their soy will change the world's eating habits and how we get life-sustaining proteins in our diets. What we offer is a product that will actually uh, taste better. It'll be more pleasant to the consumer. And as I mentioned earlier, taste is king. The soy they produce, which is 90% protein, doesn't have the murky beanie taste of traditional soys. In fact, with these demonstration drinks, it doesn't compromise the fruit taste. It's completely soluble in most liquids, and our tasters didn't know the soy protein was an ingredient. I've tasted soy before, and I didn't taste it in that. You couldn't taste it? No. Could you taste soy in it? No, definitely not. Yeah. It definitely doesn't taste like soy. There's no beanie taste at all. This nutritionist sees all kinds of food and beverage application for Burkhan's vegetable proteins, but she hopes manufacturers don't limit them to sugar drinks. I would say it has to be something that is a nutritionally sound product to begin with that you're then adding some more nutritional benefit to. I, don't want, I wouldn't recommend something that was a fruit beverage, which wasn't 100% pure fruit juice, that someone's added um, you know, protein to. That's just like the vitamin waters that are sugar water that have a few vitamins. That's not a good option either. Yeah. This dietitian often recommends yeah. soy proteins to clients yeah. with heart risk and high cholesterol. And it's often difficult to get people to um, accept soy protein alternates because of the taste and the texture. So this could be a good substitute. These are some of the big name beverages that Burkhan says it can put soy and pea proteins into. It's also aiming at cereals and other dry packaged goods. The company has agreements with most of the top 10 food producers in the world and plans to be on consumer shelves later this year.